Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Armour Free Sync for the Stone Marines Combined Armed Milsim Unit. This video will show you how to download, install and set up Armour Free Sync. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link that I'll leave in the description. It's also on the Discord. You're going to want to scroll down until you find the downloads area. You're then going to want to go to the Windows Automatic Installer. Click on that. And click on this link here which will download the exe installer once it's installed double click on it and it'll bring up a, a little warning error just click more information if you're on windows 10 and then click run anyway then in the install menu we're going to click next i accept feel free to read through all this next pick where you want to download armor free sync Personally, I'd advise putting it on the same drive as your mods. So this is typically your C drive, but it doesn't really matter too much. So I'm just going to download it on my D drive for now. You can create a desktop icon if you want, but you don't have to. Click next, and then you can check where you're installing it, etc. here, and then press install. Cool, and now we can press finish. Okay, cool. So now Arm Free Sync is downloaded. When you first boot up the program, it might not appear as it does here. You'll probably have less boxes and stuff on the left panel. It might just have exclamation mark workshop folder. And on the right panel, it will most probably be empty. You may also come across um, a pop up box where it will ask for your Arm Free directory. Simply point this to your Arm Free directory, which is typically on your C drive, um, then programs, files 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Arm Free. If it doesn't, we're going to want to go to add on options. And this will be blank, so we'll just create a new one. We're going to press the blue uh, cross button on the top. Then we're going to find our Armour Free directory. So mine is here. And then we're going to press open. If you've done it correctly, it should show in the bottom panel any mods that you already in have installed. This can be through Armour Free Sync or the workshop. After this, we're going to want to go to Launcher Options, pick your profile that you want to use. So mine is SMBGS. Um, then you can change all of these options to how you wish to set them. But if you're joining our server, you will need to have Better Light enabled. The rest of the options are optional. Your performance options may be already preset because of your profile that you've loaded. If they're not, then this is dependent on your computer, so I'll leave that for you to set up. But this is the settings I use. Down the bottom here, if your Armour Free executable location isn't there or it's incorrect, then we simply want to go to Select, go to Armour Free Directory again, and we're going to want to find Armour Free Battleye.exe just here. And then we're going to click Open. If you're joining another server and you don't need Battleye on, then obviously you just select the normal Armour Free 64 bit version. Okay, so now onto the Online tab. Currently I've got the Stone Marines private server, the password will be blurred. But if you wanted to add different servers so that you can directly join from Armour Free Sync, simply press the plus button up here on the right and enter in the details of the server. But we're not going to do that as it's going to be automatically set up for us if you're with the Stone Marines. Once you have downloaded the repository, then the Stone Marines information will automatically appear. The mod set should automatically appear as well, but if not you can choose which one you want to join with. Obviously, if you're trying to join with a mod pack that we don't accept, then it will just kick you off the server. External apps we don't use personally, um, but this will essentially allow you to execute and boot up other applications whilst booting your armor. Okay, so onto the last tab, the repositories. It's probably the most important um, tab of Armor Free Sync that you'll use. If you have a repository that you want to add, you will need the public auto config URL. Paste it in there and then press import and the rest will be done for you. In the next video I'm going to show you how to set up the Stone Marines required repository.